I am back. Product review time. Product review time. All right, so we are here with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It looks like this and you get uh, 0.67 fluid ounces of product. Now, I had seen this in the store, I saw it at Walmart. Um, <clears throat> I am a, excuse me, I am a consummate uh, cosmetic aisle grazer. I always try to find new and fun things because they are way, <laughs> it is more cost effective to be experimental with drugstore products versus buying, you know, something that's a little bit on the more pricier high-end style. So I wanted to give this a try. Um, the packaging says that you can get poreless smooth looking skin um, it says that it instantly blurs the look of pores without clogging them transparent gel formula smooths on clear smooths smooths and refined skin appearance it's non comedogenic and fra fragrance free and that you can use it alone or under makeup <coughs> excuse me so non comedogenic just means that it won't break you out. Now, here's the thing about my skin. I have normal skin. Um, in the winter, of course, it's a bit drier. In the summer, it is a bit drier. So it's kind of normal to dry skin. Um, because it is normal to dry, I treat it uh, very, very sensitive because the littlest thing can make my skin get super, super dry. Um, this is what it looks like. So when you open it, it is, it comes out like a it's like a silicone -y. I don't know if that's enough to see Let's see yeah um, it's very silicone -y, um, in texture and so when I was trying this out I said that I would try it two ways I tried it um, yesterday I tried it with all over my face um, because I wanted to see how it really felt on my face and you know kind of a silicone product feels very it has like a distinct um, texture so it felt very I don't know, silicone-y, I guess, but it has a, just kind of a, its own kind of texture. So I tried it with a powder yesterday, and uh, today I tried it with a foundation and a powder underneath, of course. So yesterday, I absolutely hated it. Like, it was the worst. I hated it. I hated it because my skin felt so weird. It had that kind of silicone-y texture to my skin. Now, I applied it with um with on top and then I put my my powder on top of it and it just gave my skin like this weird kind of texture and feel which I hated it like it just it was almost kind of like a residue kind of thing it was horrible like I hated it so today I said I would give it another try um and put foundation and powder on top on top of it to see what it looked like or see what it felt like um and I have to say that today I really really like it my skin doesn't have that residue kind of feel it's very lightweight it's almost like you have nothing on I don't put on a lot of foundation um, when I do wear foundation I use the Revlon nearly naked or um, Mac I rarely use the Mac but more more so I use the Revlon uh, nearly naked and it's very lightweight and it feels very very good and I like the way that my skin feels so overall for me I like it. I like it under the condition that I use it with foundation. So, um, with that being said, I would say that it is definitely a purchase only because it is dirt cheap. It was like, I think, $5 and a little goes a long way. So, if you just, you know, kind of dot it under your eyes or wherever your pores are more visible. Now, it doesn't make your pores disappear. Let's go ahead and put that out there. Don't. This is not a... A wonder this isn't like you know Aladdin in a blue tube that's just not what happens but it does blur them so it gives the appearance of porelessness I would say so I would say definitely pick it up and give it a try it's only five dollars um, and I feel like this is one of the only products out that is in the drugstore like this so you know, if you want to try another, I think a lot of people use the Smashbox or something like that. I used to use the Tarte. Um, I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was the one in the purple tube. Um, and those are a bit pricier. So I say for $5, this is definitely a pickup. The only other one that I know, the only other drugstore brand that I know uses that has a 
a, a primer is Black Radiance, and it was absolutely horrible. So I would definitely say pick this up. It's very cheap and expensive, and I like it. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, leave them below. See you guys later. You always have to pray to the lighting gods that, natural lighting gods, that things will work in your favor. So I treat it as sensitive, treat it as sensitive people, people with sensitive, blah, 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 blah. I treat it very sensitively, we'll say.